Okay, so we are going to demonstrate pulse oximetry and the impact of a uh, blood pressure cuff on the same arm. All right, so we have the we have pulse oximetry on the finger. We've got a good waveform up there. Let me just kind of yeah, good good waveform. All right, let's crank up that uh, blood pressure cuff. You guys are okay with being on YouTube? All right. Let's see. It's gone there. Okay, now the waveform's gone. We still, there's probably going to be a lag time in the read, but, um, but this cuff stays up only just for a few seconds. Okay, so the cuff's going back down. Okay, oh, so we actually lost our... Um, we lost the read. The read, too. Okay, good. That's really just why I wanted to demonstrate. So we have a second patient here, and we're going to try the same thing. And uh, uh, this is our a nursing student who's volunteered to participate here in this experiment. Okay, so the pulse oximetry is working. You've got a good waveform. Blood pressure cuffs going on. Yep, there goes your waveform immediately. So I think this is important to document that, you know, you're in a trauma situation, you have a pulse oximetry attached to a finger, and all of a sudden you lose your waveform. Think about the fact you have that blood pressure cuff going up and down. 143 over 90? Oh my goodness, is this, is this, it's not white coat hypertension, it's, it's, it's video hypertension. Okay. Yeah, do it one more time. There we go again. No more waveform. No more read. All right. So the lesson here is. Both oxygen and blood pressure on opposite arms. There we go. Thank you.